Jumping into it. We were early, we made it. No fish in the tanks yet. Everybody's starting to get set up. It's one of the spots. We're just getting started. This has never happened. This is a first one of a kind. These clubs usually have a national convention each year, an annual, but this time they all got together. This is unheard of, but I hope that they continue doing this because it's really awesome to bring everybody into one convention instead of having to spend their time flying around everywhere else trying to get to them all, in my opinion. And more vendors did end up showing. They set up more tanks here. We're gonna see all that in this video. Lots of fish, lots of events going on. So stay tuned for all that. And it started on a Wednesday and went all the way to Sunday. So there was more vendors that popped up. It was quite an event because, I mean, going from Wednesday to Sunday for any fish event, that's unheard of. But it was awesome the whole time. But here we go. It's got antique stuff. All kinds of just random stuff for a silent auction. You know it wouldn't be a proper silent auction without a six pack. Now we're running the hotel looking for rooms of fish. This is how it goes. It's like trick or treating for fish. Oh, looks like we found a room. So this is what they do. They list the fish, they put the prices. Sometimes you call, sometimes they're in there. You give a knock. But fish rooms all over the hotel. And it's about 10.30 p.m. But all night long, all day long, you can check out all the fish in the show. Bending's still open, about to do a super late auction. They have other auctions at like midnight. Ornamentses, rainbows. They even got tubs out for a show. I've never seen a show with tubs. I'm not sure what that's about. But what these shows are, people bring in their fish and show off their best fish. Looks like these are actually for sale. I didn't know that. Never seen them put fish for sale. In my experience. Whoa. Some nice ones too. Those peacock gungeons. Never seen them put them for sale near, right near the show tank, so it's kind of different. But these are mostly all show fish. And they bring in their best fish in competing categories. And here I'll be showing some footage of some fishes. Here are some of the cichlids from the ACA show. And um, I'll just let these roll for you guys. Let you check them out and uh, Enjoy. Victorian. We got different classes. Like little bass. Cool little bass. It's a big boy. 
gonna be auctioned or something all these what Let's see how they got their air pump plugged in system air vent that's nice they actually covered it up so you didn't really see it so much made it look nice they just used plastic here but if you don't have an ID detail you don't even notice yep, this is a how big do they get? That's it. That's it? That's a female, that's a male. There's some more over here. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. And the ones with the zigzag tails, what are those? With are the they uh, zebra-like tail? Oh, that, those are nanochromous transvestitis. Oh, cool. Poor fish probably thinks he's in a mad lab with all those neon airlines around him. One of many auctions. How often you get that good of a auction here, Mr. Chris Biggs? Uh, Melanitania, big crowd too. One of the many auctions is over. That was at like midnight. Now back to some fish.
didn't even get all the fish. I tried to get as many as I could for you guys, but they had even more than this. actually a Florida native, the bluefin killifish. I absolutely love these little fish. Really cool. Could be displayed a bit better. Color wise. Another Florida native fish. Believe it or not, there was quite a bit of fish there at this convention from them. Mile Creek, Painlong Creek, Florida, Alabama. Good What's this? Yeah, that dwarf right over there is legit. Probably gonna head up Experience in 
trying to hyperactive the line. I guess I was wondering if you might have gotten you know, the line across, but I mean, I was kind of confused to hear that. The coolest ones I've seen, there was a big one from the accidental thing, was the fixed uh, species 44 with a uh, fryer on it. Uh, 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 excuse me, excuse me, there were the coolest What's going on? Personality just from reading that thing every week. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I could just tell the reading it. Fish for the kids decoration contest. Thanks to Seagrass. But Spot's got some fish in here. And selling the tank and stand whole thing. We'll take it home. Even with wet spot fish. Rare ones. Pretty decent. Little fish. Oh, and we even got a late midnight talk. Oh boy, dang strong language. Pictures of poop. Oh my God, who's giving this talk? Uh, At midnight. Don't ask them about it. We don't want to go to that. You can see the dentition of some of these sailors are really different from each other. You can kind of hear it. Jump into the next day. Some more auctions. Who's starting me off with 40 bucks up the silly Apple's Turner? I got 40 in back. This is an ALA auction. American Library Association. Some of these fish were going for some big bucks. 100. Ryan's one of the judges. 100 vote for 110. 100 vote for 10. El Paso Black Crack. 100 vote once. Twice. Buyer 37. Amount $100. Ninety-five? Ninety behind me, look for ninety-five. Ninety dollars going once. Ninety dollars going twice. Buyer twenty-two, ninety dollars. Scored some blue galaris out of a hotel room. 
Shout out to Art Hammerlin. Off to another auction. I'm in there watching. And every cent of that money goes towards funding cyclic research for the fish that we all love. This is the babes auction where the women run the show. time with fish room fever good morning good morning i hope you had a beautiful day and i hope you had a wonderful night thank yeah love it and if you did look how gorgeous better for you amen brother that is gorgeous ain't it yeah look at this sky do you know how many people are sleeping on this sky right now way too many look at that doesn't even look real it looks like some sort of painting or all kinds of paintings you could fit and piece this footage just to create art with it's actually it's amazing it's crazy that uh, sky looked that morning and that over there's got like an aquamarine behind it and it was changing so fast while we were out there just Within minutes, it would just start looking different in certain areas. But I had to share this with you guys. It was just too cool not to share. Plus, it was part of the event and well, my adventures during it. from Ray Aquatics. Big shout out to him. He's cool dude. Got a few fish from the swap. What I like to do is stick them in a drawer. Keep them dark until you go home. And don't disturb them. Or if you got an extra bed, you can cover them. Now if you guys know, as I was saying, this guy wins all the awards. And what's that medal you got there? This is the ACA award for, for best of show. Very you nice. You only get this if you win best of show. Very nice. And what club are you part of? Ace, uh, the GCCA. That's awesome. Yep. So if you guys are in Chicago, definitely talk to this man. He knows what he's doing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tank Buster. Best 3D artwork. And best of show. Very nice. And those awards are really cool. Yeah, every single year. one is, is, is painted. That's amazing. Every single one. And a shout out to the Cincy Mob. Love them guys. More of the weekend. Vendor room's really filling up now. Look at this kid's face. Look like he found some free candy. 
All the YouTubers. <laughs> this is for the YouTube picture. I think you got rid of your TV in your living room. No, it's, right? st it's still there. It just moves. It, it's just. Looks like Chris is getting content. Check out his channel. First and second place. Team Garter Navider. Even the kids are winning the awards. Legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's my little guys. That's nice. I love it. I love how yeah, he did you know, the pumps. We, we, and we got the rock around here. I just went to a landscape store yesterday. Oh, really? This yeah, it's got all the fossils and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah. This one um, is from our, a little stream by us in Maryland. Very right, cool. Rocks. Love it. Not the orange ones. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Hey everybody, follow me on YouTube. Super Mosquito Aquatics. I'm real cool. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Number 20. Okay, item started. number 15-5 is Pudgelo. One bid at $30. Going once, going twice, sold to number 44. It's up to a 30 gallon. It's uh, $58 retail. Then I had to run out of the auction because I ran out of money and on the way home I went. From the cats getting on top of it. We've got some in here. We got a few in there. Stay tuned if you want to see what I got. I appreciate you guys watching, hitting the like button and all that. Until next time, everybody, have a great one. I'll see you on the next one.